Hi everyone, it's Katrina! From an ancient pony that we had only seen in prehistoric cave paintings to some reptiles dealing with some chilly conditions, here are eight animals found frozen in ice. Number 8. Celericon Pony the Celericon pony was discovered accidentally in 1968 as a result of gold mining operations in Yakutia, Russia. Its hind legs were found protruding through the ceiling of a tunnel that had been dug near its final resting spot. It seems like it got stuck in the mire and its head, unfortunately, was not preserved. It was likely taken by predators around the time of its death. The horse's legs and body were retrieved by experts from the Zoological Institute in St. Petersburg and apparently was studied quite extensively, but that research only recently made it to the West. The horse was identified as a similar species to Shivalsky's horse, a species that is now only found in Mongolia. I think I pronounced that right. It was a mature stallion that died at the age of 7 or 8 years old during the Pleistocene era, sometime between 35,000 and 39,000 years ago. Researchers determined that it had a tan or coffee-colored coat, a coal-black mane and tail, and a dark dorsal stripe. Similar horse remains have been found in other parts of Yakutia, as well as Alaska. In 1878, an ancient white horse carcass was found on the bank of a river, and in 1950, a horse containing a full-term embryo was discovered. There have probably been many, many more that have been found, but since it's usually during mining or oil surveys, the remains are not reported or preserved. Anywho, these different life stages of prehistoric horses frozen in time allow us to see what their lives may have been like all those thousands of years ago. While part of the latter discovery was saved, most ancient horses that were discovered in permafrost were not retained for further study. It's not that easy studying and preserving animals that have been frozen for so long. Number 7. Yucca the Mammoth In August 2010, scientists discovered the remains of a juvenile woolly mammoth from 28,000 years ago. The mammoth, who was named Yucca, was found frozen in the Siberian permafrost. Yucca was far more intact than almost all other fossilized or otherwise preserved animals of the same age that have been found. In fact, Yucca is considered one of the most well-preserved woolly mammoths ever discovered. The remarkable condition of the carcass furthered the already existing hope of someday bringing the species back to life. Earlier this year, Japanese and Russian scientists announced that they successfully inserted muscle cell nuclei from yucca into the ova of a mouse. They then observed subsequent cellular activity, up to the stage where the cells would have divided. Although the development of a live mammoth clone is a long way off, having such well-preserved cells potentially enables researchers to achieve this goal. The cell nuclei came from the more well-preserved parts of yucca, according to a study published in Scientific Reports. Despite their recent success, scientists are still far from cloning the woolly mammoth. Yucca cell nuclei were more damaged than we thought, and it would be difficult to resurrect a mammoth as things stand. There is a chance if we can obtain better preserved nuclei, stated Kei Miyamoto, one of the scientists involved. Back in 2009, the team had unsuccessfully attempted to transfer nuclei from a 15,000-year-old mammoth. Their failure was due to the inappropriate state of the frozen remains, as well as technological limitations at the time. Who knows? We might have mammoths around again before you know it. And now for number six, but first, wanted to say a quick thank you to Rachel from Pow Puppy Chow, Lola Mercedes 731, and Irfan Udin for supporting this channel. These comments really made my day. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number six, Fighting Moose. In late 2016, schoolteacher Brad Webster of Unalakli, Alaska, and a friend discovered two partially frozen bull moose in a frozen swamp with their antlers intertwined. The prevailing theory about what happened to the moose is that they were probably fighting over territory or a female when one suffered a broken neck or was knocked unconscious, taking the other moose down with it. Unfortunately, they both lost the fight. A few days later, Webster returned to the site with a few friends and tried removing the moose carcasses from the ice, which proved impossible. Instead, as a memento of the bizarre discovery, they removed the moose heads and brought them back into town. Webster stated plans to bleach the skulls and put the moose on display at the Covenant Bible Camp where he teaches, with their antlers still intertwined. What would you do if you found a discovery like this? Would you report it? Would you keep it? Hang it on the wall like Webster here? Let me know in the comments below. Number 5. Tumat Puppy 
Scientists revealed in 2016 that they'd found the first well-preserved remains of a Pleistocene-era canine. A 12,400-year-old carcass of a puppy was found on a steep riverbank near a village called Tumat in, guess where, Yakutia, Russia. It was discovered near what historians and scientists believe are signs of human activity, and so they think that this must have been someone's pet. South Korean scientist Professor Hwang Woo Suk, a pioneering expert seeking to clone the woolly mammoth, was present during an examination of the canine remains in Yakutsk. The dog was incredibly intact, and as a result, Woo Suk added it to his list of extinct animals he wants to clone. The professor took samples of the dog's skin, muscles, and ear cartilage. The carcass is preserved really very well, said Russian expert Dr. Pavel Nikolsky, a research fellow of the Geological Institute in Moscow. And one of the most important things is that the brain is preserved. In addition to a well-preserved brain, the dog's teeth were also intact. The researchers took samples of the ground near the puppy to identify the bacteria of the time, which they'll compare with bacteria in the animal's intestines. They hope to find ancient bacteria, as well as samples of parasites such as fleas and ticks that may have infested the puppy. It is believed that the puppy, along with another that was also discovered, died in a landslide, and the permafrost helped preserve them in a natural form of mummification. Number 4. Alligators This is a more recent story. Alligators at the Swamp Park in Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina, were found frozen in place in January of this year. As a cold blast gripped North Carolina, the gators got stuck with just their noses poking out of the water, luckily, enabling them to breathe. The manager, George Howard, told the Charlotte Observer that 18 American gators froze at the park, and they remained frozen the entire next day. It seemed as if the alligators stuck their noses into the air precisely as the water froze at just the right moment, as Howard put it. Alligators go into a hibernation-like state called brumation when water or air temperatures are too low for them to remain active, Howard explained. They can live in water temperatures as low as 40 degrees, at which point they become lethargic. When it's very cold, gators will sometimes go down to the bottom of the water body and can hold their breath for up to 24 hours. This was the second year in a row that alligators were discovered frozen with their snouts in the air at the 65-acre park. They thawed out after spending a few days in a deep freeze with no apparent injuries, unlike the other poor critters that I'm going to tell you about. Number 3. Frozen Fox In early 2017, a German hunter named Franz Steele came upon a poor fox that had drowned in the frozen Danube River. It must have been hunting on the ice or crossing and fell through the thin ice below. The river later froze solid. Franz and his son returned a few days later with a chainsaw and carved out the fox inside the block of ice and put it on display as a warning of the dangers of the river and the power of nature. It was placed on display outside a hotel owned by Steele's family in a town in southwestern Germany located near the source of the river. Steele reported that he'd also seen a frozen deer and wild boar prior to discovering the fox. In response to critics, some of whom claimed the sculpture was fake, Steele explained that he put the fox on display to demonstrate what can happen if you aren't careful when outdoors. He did admit that the fox's legs weren't frozen when it was originally removed from the river, so he immersed the animal in a tub of water and encased its legs in ice. In any case, he would like to put it by the bank as a memorial so that no one goes on the ice and to remind people to respect nature. Number 2. Yukagir Bison as you may have guessed by now, Russia's Yakutia region has become famous in recent years for numerous discoveries of Ice Age animals frozen in its thick permafrost. In 2011, members of the Yukagir tribe in northern Siberia discovered a nearly 10,000-year-old steppe bison mummy that seemed to be frozen in time. Found on the shore of a lake, the bison was almost perfectly preserved. The steppe bison is an extinct ancestor of present-day bison that roamed the plains of northern Europe and North America. It was transported to the Yakutian Academy of Sciences, also in Siberia, for a necropsy. The bison's internal organs were nearly completely intact, although some had shrunk significantly. Its heart, brain, blood vessels, and digestive system were rather well preserved. Researchers obtained tissue samples from each organ. To date, no other bison as well preserved as this one has been discovered. Typically, remains that sit in the permafrost for tens of thousands of years incur more damage from the environment or as a result of being partially eaten. In fact, this was the first time a steppe bison's brain tissue was found intact, according to Albert Protopopov, chief of the Mammoth Fauna Research Department at the Yakutian Academy of Sciences. 
The animal likely died around four years old, researchers believe, and it probably died of starvation, as evidenced by a lack of fat around its abdomen. The researchers removed the bison's brain and other internal organs for further study, with the goal of comparing what they learn with modern bison species, and of course, to probably try to bring it back in the future. Number 1. Extinct Lion in late 2017, scientists in Russia revealed the frozen remains of an extinct lion cub that lived during the last ice age. A local resident found the one-year-old cub in September of that year, in guess where? Yakutia. Video footage revealed that the little lion was about the size of a forearm and was in relatively good condition, considering. Its paws were distinguishable and its body still contained tufts of fur. Further examination of the lion, including the determination of its gender, is being performed by paleontologist Albert Protopopov, who's analyzed various Ice Age carcasses that were discovered in Siberia that I mentioned earlier. Two years before, the remarkably well-preserved remains of two lion cubs were discovered in the same region. Named Uyan and Dina, they lived around 12,000 years ago. They were the most intact lion remains ever found. Because the more recently discovered lion cub lived to be about a year old, scientists hope to glean information from its teeth, such as a more precise estimate of how old the remains are. Uyan and Dina only lived to be two or three weeks old and hadn't yet grown in teeth when they died. Cave lions went extinct around 10,000 years ago, and until these recent discoveries, scientists were forced to rely solely on things like bones and tracks and prehistoric artwork to learn about them. This ancient lion was a subspecies of modern-day lions and lived among the European steppe. They want to bring this lion back as well. Thanks for watching! Would you like to see these animals brought back to life? Let me know in the comments! Remember to subscribe, and while you're at it, let me know what other fascinating topics you'd like to learn about! See you next time! Bye!